Now let's talk about the coefficient of fluctuation of speed. Now this uses two terms. The first term is the maximum fluctuation of speed. That is the difference between the maximum RPM, let us say that is N1 and the minimum RPM that is N2. Okay, so your flywheel has a maximum range of N1 RPM and a minimum range of N2 RPM. And then you have a mean speed which is N1 plus N2 upon 2. So coefficient of fluctuation of speed is the ratio between the maximum fluctuation of speed and the mean speed. So you will have N1 minus N2 divided by N1 plus N2 by 2. So this 2 comes on top, you will get this. Alright. Now, we know that omega is proportional to n, isn't it? So I can say that n can be replaced by omega, so you will have 2 into omega 1 minus omega 2 by omega 1 plus omega 2. Alright. Similarly, you can say that V is proportional to omega. So I can replace omega by V, so you will have 2 into V1 minus V2 upon V1 plus V2. For those of you who are thinking about it, what is this V? This is the linear speed of the or the, or the circumferential speed of the flywheel. Okay. So this is the mathematical formula for calculating the coefficient of fluctuation of speed. Now, the coefficient of fluctuation of speed is basically the uh, limiting factor in the design of flywheels. And the value of CS depends upon the service conditions. Okay, so for a, for a different service condition, you will have a different value of CS. Now, the reciprocal of CS is denoted by small m where small m is called the coefficient of steadiness, the coefficient of steadiness. Okay, so this is all that you have to understand in this particular topic that is the coefficient of fluctuation of speed. In the next video, we look at the mathematical formula for the energy stored in a flywheel.